Hello there, Taurus. I'm sorry if I look or sound a bit off. I have been sick <laughs> for the past couple of weeks in January. So if I look a mess, it's because I kind of feel a bit of a mess, but I'm getting better each day. This is your intuitive horoscope for the month of February. Yay! Taurus, this month you are kind of a detective. You're trying to find some things out about yourself or your surroundings. There's a mystery afoot. And this could be, you know, why did so-and-so get the promotion and not me? Or why am I feeling this way all of a sudden when I felt fine, you know, this way? Or why is this person treating me this way because I've been nothing but gracious? It, it's almost like you are trying to figure something out either within yourself or within your circle of people. You're going to feel a bit more social this month. You're going to feel more apt to going out or to having friends over. I do feel like you're going to be cleaning and tidying a lot more. Not that you weren't in January. It's just that maybe you felt a little bit lackluster in January. So February is going to be like organizing, spring cleaning, opening the windows, allowing that sunshine in unless you're in a place where, you know, there's no sunshine, in which case, you know, just clearing out the clutter there's going to be something about, I keep seeing newspapers, so I feel like there's something about like uh, the past and information from someone that you've known in the past coming back to uh, try to surprise you or startle you. Um, this could be somebody reaching out from the past. You're like, oh, man, I haven't thought about you in years. Oh, my gosh, how are you? could be an old friend reconnecting, that kind of thing. It could also be um, an old flame reconnecting as well. This is also very possible. Um, in regards to work, Taurus, I think that you're really motivated. You're trying to find a balance. And so you're not really so f focused on work as much as balance, work and fun. And so you may be more apt to daydreaming at work and, you know, trying to, you know, do other things besides stay focused. It might be a little bit difficult this month to stay focused at work because you're like, oh, like there's something either big coming up, like you're going on vacation or just spring's coming, whatever it might be. It's like, oh, I just, just daydreaming, you know? Um, you're going to really find your voice uh, and, and speak up about how you feel as well this month and defend yourself or, or speak up in regards to like, I deserve this promotion, therefore I'm going to go ahead and you know, reach out. Um, there is also some stuff with family here too. Water break, sorry. Um, <coughs> see. Family news, almost like there's something about um, hearing about something after the fact and feeling really, really angry about it. So whether it be somebody who passes on, and you don't find out about it until, you know, the next day or um, that there is, you've been excluded from something and you feel very much like, well, I thought that I, those people like me, that kind of thing. Um, in regards to rom romance and relationship, um, if you're in a relationship, this month is just kind of like an even keeled month. There is going to be some romance. Um, but it just feels like, I don't know, you're just, you're, you're kind of trying to keep everything balanced. You're trying to juggle and it makes you very, very tired. <laughs> you're just like, I just want to nap. But yet you're kind of taking on some Leo energy this month. You're like, I want to be the life of the party. I want to get out there and shine. But I also need to like restore my energy so that I'm prepared for that time to shine. Um, if you're a single Taurus, it feels like that you may have some somebody coming in towards the middle to end of the month potentially for you. Um, and again, this could be somebody who is from the past, that kind of thing. Um, in regards to health this month, Taurus, I feel like that it's it's going to be really more so um, like the lower back or the 
Um, you know, if you're working a lot and you're lifting things and you, you know, make sure you, you lift properly. It's like the shoulders and the, then the lower back that's going to be popping up for you. Um, financially, I feel like that there's a lot of good earning potentials, more so towards the middle to end of the month. The first part of the month might be a bit lackluster. <laughs> Excuse me. And it does seem like there's going to be a lot of movement towards financial flow towards the end of the month. Some of you, I keep seeing fertility, so someone might be getting pregnant this month. Or maybe you're going to hear about somebody getting pregnant and be like, oh, they, they finally deserve their, you know, their opportunity. Um, the other thing is your your color, your special color of the month that's going to really help you shine is orange. Be bright, be bold, be sweet, be you. And just get out there and take on the world. Um... Don't forget to check your sun, moon, and rising signs, Taurus. And if you'd like to book a reading with me, you can find me at kindredinsights.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in March. Take care.